I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a turkey gobbler. I'm going to come right here in the center of my paper and I'm going to put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a circle. I come on the left hand side and I draw a curved line down and leave it floating. Come on the right hand side, draw a curved line down and leave it floating. Come straight down on the left and watch what I do. I put a dot and I'm going to make that curved line come all the way up, down, curved line out, down, and leave it floating. Come back to this point and draw a curved line down and out and connect. Come on the right hand side. I'm going to put a dot. I'm going to try and hit that line, curve line down, curve line out, curve line down, floating. Come back over here, curve line out, curve line down, and connect. Right here in the middle, I'm just going to draw a slightly curved line over, connect. Okay. Starting on the left, down here at the bottom, we're going to draw a wavy, 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 wavy line. Keep going up, over, and connect. Now we're going to mimic that line and draw another wavy, wavy line. Keep going all the way up, over, down, wavy, wavy, wavy line off the page. If you have room, one more. Make it a little bit bigger, wavy line, follow the line you already have, keep going, keep going, and off the page. Come on the inside of the very first circle we drew, and we're just going to draw a curved line, come back to the left, straight diagonal down, straight diagonal up, connect. Right in the center. Curve line down, curve line up, connect. Put one dot, two dots. Come up above, one dot, two dots. Come straight down, we're going to draw a curve line down, up, connect. One more, curve line down, up, connect. Now, starting right here at the dot, we're going to draw straight lines going to the right all the way down to divide up the space of our first wavy line. Keep going. Everybody's going to end up with a different amount because we all draw differently. Now, come on the left, do the same thing. Straight lines on that inside wavy line. We're dividing up our space. Bring it all the way down and around. Like I said, everybody's going to end up with a different amount. Okay. Now, this middle space, we're going to add baby circles. Go all the way around. Baby circles all the way around and down inside this space. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And that's it. We're ready to color. Okay, we want our turkey gobbler to be in fall color. So I'm going to take my orange and I'm going to do my beak, this space right here. Take my red, do my gobble gobble part, my waddle right here, red. In this section red also. Okay? Then I'm going to take yellow and I'm going to color, whoops, I'm going to color these big turkey feet. So this is all going to be yellow. Now, you 
can color this turkey any way you want. These are only a suggestion, but I'm using fall colors. Okay, then I just get my big brown and I loop de loop my turkey face, turkey space. Come down, do this part of his bod, D, and you will do a way better job than me, as always. This is why I'm doing this all brown. And I'm going to do the outside space, also brown. And this is just so that it kind of locks in my color of my space of the bird with the tail. Okay? Once you've done that, now I use green for my baby circles. And this is kind of an important part because you're giving that one little pop of color. Everything else kind of goes into its own chromatic scale. But the green can pop. So you can use any color you want for that. Okay? Then I did an ABAB pattern for this inside part. So I did red, skip, red, skip, red, skip, red, skip, A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B, all the way around. Keep going. A, B, A. Okay. Then I used orange. Now this part of your drawing, you can also use a different color. But these are the ones that I use. You definitely can use your own judgment on this. And again, I'm trying to do mine fall colors. Think of autumn leaves. Think of uh, big turkey displays. Okay. Now that I've done all that, I'm going to come back in with my yellow and I'm going to carefully color in between all of these green baby circles. And again, like I said, mine are green, maybe yours are turquoise blue green, maybe yours are purple. You could have it be pink. You could even do it red orange. Once again, these are decisions that you make because you are the artist. Okay. The last thing I'm going to do is fill in my background with some purple stripes all the way across. Don't draw through your drawing. And again, this is also another thing that you can decide on on your own. I'm using purple because I like purple but you can use any color you want. And I made these a little bit thicker and a little bit closer together so you don't really see all the straight lines. It just is a nice way to fill in your background. All the way down. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my turkey gobbler all colored in. Okay, bye bye.